Hello. Now in this video, we will be discussing the generosity of God. I will be again this discussion. I will begin this discussion by conversationally reading the simple, not shallow, studied interpretation of Psalms 4. And after reading this psalm, we're going to dis discuss three of the nuances I heard about the generosity, ones that have helped me discover some of the abundance that I have been looking for. Then, I'm going to ask you what you think. Ready? Here we go. Now, my name is Charles Yerkes, and this is the Simple Not Shallow YouTube channel. Now, for some time, I have been on a journey, one of learning how to live in the abundance of the abundant life that Jesus said he came to give. That is, I have been learning how to love simply, wisely, and well. Well, and the whole purpose of this channel is to create a community that gets together and talks about finding this abundance. It's a place to catch the excitement of learning to love. Thank you for joining me. So, God's prosperity. Well, let's begin by reading Psalm 4. Now, when I call for help, O God, answer me. For you are the one who dispenses justice to me. In my distress, you have freed me from need. Be generous to me and hear my prayer. Sons of men, how long will you insult me? How long will you love empty expressions and seek to hurt with a lie? Know this, my Lord treats those who are faithful to him extremely well. And my Lord will hear when I call to him. In awe be excited, but sin not. The solitude of your room is the place to scream aloud as you think things through. Offer the right sacrifices and trust in our Lord. Now many are saying, Who will show us happiness and prosperity? My Lord, shine your favor upon us that they may see. For you have placed joy in my heart more than they have in a time of great abundance, in times when they have much grain and wine. And so, in peace I will lie down and sleep, because you alone, my Lord, are responsible for the security in which I dwell. A studied interpretation of Psalm 4. Ready for some nuance? I hope so, because here we go. Now, the first nuance I found came from the sentences, In my distress you have freed me from need. Be generous to me and hear my prayer. See, God had already been generous to David. And it's like David is saying, You have been generous before, which encourages me to ask you to be generous again. Now, isn't that an interesting connection? David's knowledge of God assures him that he will do so again. Once again, it's about knowing and trusting God. Seems to be a theme here in the Psalms. Second nuance. This one concerns the why of God's generosity. David says, many are saying, who will show us happiness and prosperity? My Lord, shine your favor upon us that they may see. Now what an interesting request. Be generous to us that others may see you as the source of happiness and prosperity. That the generosity would not only benefit David, but that it would also benefit others. Now, this reminds me of something very similar in John chapter 13, verse 35. This is where Jesus says that folks will know his true followers by the fact that they love each other as he loves them. This nuance suggests to me that David might well have said, Many are saying, Who will show us the love of God? My Lord, Shine your love on us that they may see. Isn't that an eye-opening nuance? Now, the third and final nuance comes from reading uh, that David had more joy in his heart, even while in distress and needing God's help, than the ones he was praying for when they had everything going for them. Now, this confirms for me that the abundance I want does go beyond mere prosperity and happiness. 
because David had great abundance even when others who were experiencing physical prosperity and wealth did not. Isn't that intriguing? Having joy in distressful times because we know who God is, that is how we are able to walk through the raging storm fearing no evil. That is the abundance I want to live in. Anyway, there you go, and there you know. Something that I found of the generosity of God. So, does that ring true? Do you have any other take on this psalm? Did you hear any other nuances in this reading? I would love to hear what, you've, what you have to say. So please tell me in the comment section below. Also, I have something very exciting to share. The first 25 psalms of these studied interpretations are now available in book form, both in print and ebook, so you can follow along as you listen to them being read. Indeed, as I was reading Psalms 4, I was reading from this book. Now, this is the first of what will be six volumes, each containing 25 of the Psalms. Now, I'll link to this book in the description box below. Also, if you liked this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons. And when you click that red subscribe button, you'll see that little gray bell icon. Click on this. That will let YouTube know you want to be notified each time a new video is posted. And one final thing. Please pray for me that I stay honest and true to what we are reading. See, better men than I have started off very well and have fallen. Please ask God to help me stay humble, honest, standing, and converse conversational. Thank you. Well, until next time, love simply, love wisely, and love well. For that is where excitement and meaning dwell.